I gotta find a tie. So, I went with the light blue paisley just because it matched what my kids had going on a little bit better. A little bit of a Versace, Versace. Since we're going with the blue aesthetic today, I'm gonna go with the blue bench made. Everybody get in the van. Hey, that's the wrong car, dude. All right, I'm running late, so I gotta go. It's my morning coffee, leave me alone. The thing I love about this van is it's all keyless. So as long as I have it in my pocket, I don't actually have to have it out. I can just hit buttons. Locking the car, unlocking the car, opening doors, it's really nice. Especially that like, kick to open thing you can do. And so begins my Sunday morning. They got a little of a slinky. What are you doing? <laughs> just got home and I see and I had a package. I think it's an RC car we ordered. The house is smelling awesome. I had some crock pot chicken going. Just about some where we're at. Oh yeah, we're done. That's all there is to it. You just throw all your stuff in there with your chicken breast with a little bit of uh, uh, white distilled vinegar. Let it go for like four hours on low and you have all your meal prep chicken for the week. That's so good. You can just use it straight too. I need to give this thing a good wipe down. Well, first, let's get it started. I'm so glad I got the upgrade from the Z-Grills. This thing is so nice. So nice. Like, I'm glad I get to work with this company. Like, Pit Boss has been great. Uh, but this unit, like, if I would have known how much nicer this was than what I had before, I would have just went ahead and bought this instead, regardless of whatever the logo or branding or whatever I do. Like, I hope I never get to the point of being an influencer or whatever you want to call it, a blogger, where I lose touch with the fact that I want to promote things that I like. I like this, okay? I, I like the way all of this looks. This is me, all right? The hammered finish. I always forget this thing is a touch camera. Come on now, 250. Yeah. If you were blind, how would you ask for food? If I was blind, I'd use my mouth and say, hey, I need some food. That's not how that's supposed to work. <laughs> I've heard this. <sighs> I tried. Sorry. My wife's too smart for those antic pranks. So like there was this video of this guy that I saw. He was like, uh, he was with his wife and his wife's like, hey, if you were blind, how would you ask for a drink? And he went, she went, I said if you were blind, not deaf. Put this on the smoker at 250 for about an hour and a half, just long enough to melt the cheese. You can make any of these in like the crock pot or in the oven if you really want to, but it tastes a lot better on the smoker in my opinion. Getting set up for video number two today, which will be chicken Alfredo. I make my sauce homemade. I have a watermelon, making sure everything's up to snuff. I would do the in the face POV shot, but I've always liked the forward facing towards the food. This is after the first 45 minutes. I want to go another 45 after we start it. Recipe number one was done for the day. It's cheesy tortellini Alfredo. The video will probably be up tomorrow. I'm telling you, it's the best Alfredo ever. Just make the sauce homemade. Trust me. The official chip of Holmes cooking, buffalo chicken dip. Oh, man. This is the buffalo chicken dip. My wife's going to tell me if it's a winner. She's not a liar, so. Honest thoughts. Mm. Football or not, the Colts are going to the Super Bowl. See car that was for a deal on Amazon. I think it might still be up. Um, it was forty-eight dollars. Retails for like one hundred and eighty. Let's see, if you get the dimensions. It's fourteen inches long. I think it goes like thirty miles an hour or something like that. I'll have to check it out later with the boys. Yeah, hi, boys. Hi. You've had to make it. Can I say you probably have to make it? Be true. Are we stopping somewhere after church? Don't avoid the camera. Show it's it up love. to you. It's up to you. We're going home. We got food at home. Uh, can I get a beef supreme chalupa? So we plan on going to Costco tomorrow, and I wanted to clean out this Titan deep freeze. Um, we haven't watched the video yet, but I rested a pork butt in here. And it's really easy to clean up. You just spray it out with, you know, some Lysol or whatever, and then wipe everything up. And then you can even undo, like, the drain cap. And just, like, get up in there and spray it out with the sink. Costco's, like, 45 minutes to an hour away, so we want to make sure we had this in case we found something cool. Never been to a Costco before. It's so, like whenever you get a locket. 
it does the airtight locks. And if it's hot on the inside, you'll actually hear it push out air and vacuum seal. And it's rugged. So if you're a fisher guy, it's even got measurements for you. Take this and lay your fish on top. See how long your fish is. This is the Titan Beat Freeze by Arctic Zone. I think it holds ice for like five days or something like that if you don't open it. But three if you open it occasionally, get something out. This thing is sweet. Cast iron skillet's clean. Now let's clean the cooking surfaces. Being a food content creator really gets dirtier in here. I do every single time I come back into the kitchen and I clean up. Cool thing about these uh, glass cooktops here, if you have one of these here bench scrapers, if you have any residue or whatever, you can just open here and fine tooth it right out. I hate, I hate this thing, all right? You wanna know why? Because it shows everything. Every nook, cranny, crevice, and spot, splotch, and schmear. Now we're schmedium cleaning to make content another day. Put my stand up. It's 12.30 now. I gotta be up in five hours for work. Yeah, I'm gonna go play some games. I mean, y'all remember Luminous, right? 